This is my favorite meal of the day. Alright, what's up guys, Jordan Hunter here, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, we are doing a full day of eating on the cut. I have officially started summer shredding, um, today's Wednesday and I started on Monday, so I'm about three days in now. Uh, that being said, I actually just uploaded the first video. You guys have probably already seen it, but if you haven't, make sure to check it out after this one. But I basically just show you guys my starting weight, um, my starting physique, which I'm actually embarrassed about and as well as my macros so if you guys want to check that video out it's just me announcing that i have officially started and everything like that make sure to check it out after this one um but yeah like i said i am doing a full day of eating uh, it's currently 1 30 right now i did have the day off work so i did sleep in so i just made my breakfast slash lunch meal so i'm going to show you guys that right now so if you guys have been watching me for a while you already know oatmeal with peanut butter um, and then I also made a smoothie as well. So I'm gonna put the macros on the screen so you guys can see. So in the smoothie, I just have three scoops of protein, 140 grams of frozen fruit, and then one cup of milk. And then obviously just oatmeal and peanut butter. Um, now I, on this cut, I do wanna try and avoid dairy, but I'm still pretty early on, honestly, and I, I really just wanted to make a smoothie. So I did have milk, but once I get later on into the cut, I'm gonna be completely cutting out dairy. Um, but yeah, macros are going to be on the screen for that meal. Um, so yeah, that's the first meal. I'm about to eat it right now. Watch a couple YouTube videos, chill for a bit, and then I'll probably pick the video up at my next meal. Alright guys, just made meal number two. You guys see me chefing it up downstairs. So I got 150 grams of jasmine rice as well as 138 grams of extra lean ground beef. I also added some California style mixed vegetables and a little bit of some chicken and rib BBQ sauce on top just to give it that little extra flavor. This is my favorite meal of the day. I'm super pumped to eat this. It is delicious. But that being said, I just wanted to talk about something real quick. So I feel like a lot of people stay away from red meat when they're cutting. Obviously, it is a lot higher in fat compared to chicken or tuna or whatnot, but that's why I get the extra lean ground beef. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot lower in fat compared to just lean or regular ground beef. So if you're getting bored of chicken or you're not a huge fan of chicken, definitely I would recommend getting extra lean ground beef. Uh, it is a great source of protein, honestly, which is why I have it in my diet. Uh, like I said, it is higher in fat, but as long as I'm staying within my fat for the day, then there's no issue with it. I'm still going to lose weight. Uh, but that being said, once I progress into the cut and get closer to the end date, my fat will be lowering. So I probably won't. Uh, I'll probably be taking red meat out of my diet completely. I'll probably have it once in, uh, once in a while, but I won't be having it every day because, like I said, it is higher in fat. But right now, my fat is moderately high and I can fit this meal in. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to keep eating it. But yeah, so meal number two, going to eat this real quick. 
watch some more YouTube videos, chill, and then I'll probably see you guys at the gym. Alright guys, now I know I said I would see you at the gym next, but I decided to wait a little bit. It's like 6.30 right now. Um, I'm going to go to the gym later because it gets super busy at this time. And it's kind of annoying to wait for equipment and for filming and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just eating my third meal right now. Hold up, let's get some, some flashlight action on this. Damn. Uh, so yeah, I just got 150 grams of chicken breast as well as 150 grams of basmati rice. And then I also added a little bit of the same sauce that I had with meal number two. Uh, so yeah, that's meal number three. Macros on the screen like always. Um, so I'm going to eat that. Um, I've been into podcasts recently and um, that's Christian Guzman. If you guys don't know, he's the owner of Alpha Lee. I'm sure you guys already know. You're probably subscribed to him, but uh, he's the one that hosts the summer shredding event I do every year. And... He's a huge inspiration to me. He's accomplished so much at such a, such a young age. And he's honestly part of the reason why I started my YouTube channel. I look up to him a lot. Um, but his old videographer, his name's Lawrence. He used to help him with summer shredding videos back in the day. Uh, I guess he created like a podcast channel. And Christian's his first guest. So uh, I've been watching it. I've been watching it. Um, it's cool to hear him talk about like business and stuff like that. They're also giving me a lot of advice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish up watching that. Uh, down that meal and then next time you guys see me I'll be at the gym this time I promise we are training shoulders today um, so yeah let's get it Shit. I used the wrong fucking protein.
All right, guys. So I just finished up at the gym, and I just took a sip of my post-workout shake. Um, I actually have two protein powders, so I have a vegan one that I take in the morning with my smoothies, and then I have a whey isolate protein that I take after the gym. And uh, I guess I put the wrong protein in here. Uh, the whey isolate's only one scoop, but the vegan one is like three scoops for a full serving. And I thought I put the isolate one in here, so I just did one scoop, and I just took a sip and. It was actually disgusting. It's like watered down vegan protein. Was not expecting that. Um, so that kind of sucks. Now I gotta go home and get the right shake in. But luckily I only live like three minutes away from this gym. Um, but yeah, finished up with the workout. Uh, I didn't talk at all inside. Honestly, I was just trying to focus on the workout. Just put my headphones in and kill it, which I did. I had a really good workout. Um, so yeah, uh, technically this was supposed to be meal, mo meal number four, but I messed up. So. Either way, I'm going to drink the real protein shake when I get home, so I'll put the macros on the screen for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go home, shower and everything, and then I got one more meal left for the night. Uh, so I'll pick the video up then and show you guys what I make. Alright guys, so it's the next day now. Uh, I didn't want to film last night because it got pretty late and I didn't want to wake anyone up, but for my last meal of the day, I just had a can of tuna as well as a piece of toast with peanut butter and these Special K uh, like fruit crisp bars, I think they're called. Um, so one thing I want to mention was if you're a huge fan of tuna or like if you just enjoy tuna, it is going to be your best friend on the cut. It is literally just pure protein. Me personally, I don't like tuna that much, but because of its benefits and it's just pure protein, I force myself to eat it. So um, if you enjoy tuna, then you should have no issue. Tuna is going to be your best friend, and if you don't enjoy tuna, I'd advise you or recommend like just trying to get past it. Because at first it took me like probably 45 minutes to eat a can, but now I'm at the point where I just got used to it that I can eat it in like maybe 20 minutes. It still takes me a while, but um, I would definitely recommend tuna for sure on a cut. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Um, so I'm going to put the final macros on the screen right now. So as you guys can see, I consumed 2,355 calories. Now my goal is 2,500, so I under eat, under ate a little bit. Um, but I did have vegetables with my beef meal that I didn't add in here, so that'll take up some of those calories. And it's not a huge difference. But after taking those veggies off, I'm probably under eating by like maybe 100 calories, so it's not a huge deal. Um, so those, those are the calories I finished off with. And then breaking it down for the macros, so... Uh, let's see here. So for protein, I consumed 196 grams. Uh, now I know I said my goal is like 200, maybe a little bit more, but um, it's okay. Normally I would have protein bars in my diet, which would help me with that protein, but uh, unfortunately I ran out and I get them at work. Um, and I had yesterday off, so I'm not just going to go in to pick them up. I'll just get them today when I go in. Um, so yeah, 196 protein. Carbs 257. Now my goal is 250, but so I did overeat a little bit on the carbs, but I also weighed less in fat, so it kind of works out. And either way, I'm still under in my calories, so it's not a huge deal. And then fat 61 grams. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. Um, please leave a like if you did. If you guys want to see another one, once I get more into the cut um, when my diet, diet starts to switch up please let me know comment down below uh, like I said once I progress into the cut I'll probably be cutting out red meat just because my fat will be lowering um, as well as I want to stay away from dairy and milk and such so things will be changing uh, but like I said I'm only like three days in right now so it's not a huge deal um, but yeah I'm gonna wrap the video up here hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, please leave a like and uh, see you guys in the next video Peace. I, I, I used to feel so